Yo, what's up guys? Yes, the EDP video is finally done. I finally had an interview with them. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little segment here before we actually get into the real interview. Um, I already know I'm going to get some comments of people saying I was too nice to him. People say I didn't ask hard enough questions. But at the end of the day, this interview was not for me to press him. It wasn't for me to, um, you know, confront him in a very argumental way. It was me for to create more content for other people to look more into the EDP. Um, I think in this interview, he does say a lot of stuff that we didn't really know before. Um, and I also think that, um, you know, we know some of the answers to a lot of the questions. I was just asking him to see how he would react to the questions. So, uh, without further ado, I know you guys have been waiting for this. It's been like a month long running and I'm finally glad to just finally release this kind of video. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys have your cupcake, uh, some milk, some drinks, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, man? Hello, can you, hold on one sec, hold on. All right, sorry, uh, talk again. What up, man? Hey, how's it going, man? It's going, same old shit, man, just chilling here at home. Oh, uh, yeah, how was your weekend? Well, I guess you worked all weekend day, so it probably wasn't that great. Yeah, man, it was pretty fucked up, dude. Fucking, um, yeah, it was pretty fucking wild, man. We had to go arrest a few people, man. Oh, shit, man, damn. So, yeah, I guess you probably work in security then, right, or something like that? No, I'm a, um... No, I work for the federal government. Oh, shit. All right, good for you, man. That's sick. Yeah, that's Damn, and they got you working long hours too, eh? Yeah, man. Shit's fucking wild, bro, but what can you do, man? Oh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, you're all about guns and stuff. I mean, it makes sense you get into that kind of field. Yeah, man, you know, and motherfuckers trolling. I got niggas' addresses and shit. I just got to give the order, man. We can go get them. Oh shit! All right, man. All right, so I just got I got some questions for you, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay away from the trolling stuff, you know. But I am gonna ask you some some questions. I mean, if you're not comfortable with answering them, you, you don't have to, kind of thing. But uh, first thing I want to talk about is your website. And uh, just my my first thing I want to ask is um like have you always had your website or is this something like new that you you just started doing? No, it's something new that um that that uh, sorry, it's something new that I started doing. Um, I had it when I also had my TikTok account, but, um, you know, I didn't really invest a lot of time into my website, you know what I mean? Right, right. And then and then when the entire TikTok thing got fucking banned because of no life fucking fags, uh, my friend was all like, you know what, like, just go solo, invest time into the website, that way you can't get banned, you can say anything, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, um, I feel you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it costs money to maintain anything. But yeah. It, it, it's all like, you know, I would rather pay money and maintain that piece, you know what I mean, as opposed to waking up and getting fucking banned and shit, you know what I mean, so. Yeah, no, and, and that's that's actually what I was going to ask next. It must be kind of like financially, like, is it is it a lot money-wise to, to keep the site running? Because I know, like, one of my friends, uh, like, yeah, like, it's it's it must be, like, pretty, um, what's the word, uh, freeing as well. Like you said, you know, especially since your sense of humor and stuff on YouTube back in the day, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it costs, it costs a little money here and there and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, you know, like you get that piece. So, I mean, you know, it's a give or take situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I feel that, bro. Like even me, like I sometimes have issues with YouTube too. It's just, it's just really frustrating, you know? Yeah, it's frustrating as fuck. It's like you can't even do shit, you know what I mean? No, exactly. All right, so the, the next thing I was going to talk about um, was uh, basically like, you know, we see you, you're selling stuff on your website, you know, you're trying to make that money. But, uh, you know, I've heard that people are like calling you broke because of it now. And like, you know, because you're selling some of your like more more prized possessions, like your YouTube plaques and stuff like that. So I'm just curious, like, are you just selling it for the fact of just like that extra income? Or is it genuinely something like um, you're a little concerned about, you know, you're trying to sell stuff and just trying to, to make that extra bit of money, you know? It's selling it. Um, I'm selling it because of the extra fucking income. Um, right. I don't fucking need it. Right. What do I need it for? You know what I mean? Um, I had my friend, uh, a friend of mine hit me up. Oh, man, why are you getting rid of the YouTube plaques and sentimental value? Not to me. You know what I mean? Because it's like over the past, what, 13, 14 years I've been on YouTube. I made I made YouTube so much fucking money. That in the end, it just pulled the fucking plug on my channel. Yeah. Without even without even getting my side of the fucking story right you know? right and that's you know man and that's always been something with any fucking social networking platform yeah is that you can never really talk to anybody you know what i mean yeah for sure uh, 
I'm like an actual person. So I'm just like, well, same with like advertisements, right? Like you get an advertisement with like G Fuel or something like that. And the instant you get into any controversy, it doesn't matter what side, it's like they instantly just cut ties with you. Right. And that's why I'm just like, all right, cool. Fuck y'all then. Like, yeah. Let me get my own fucking website. I'll do shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, Any and everything that reminds me of that bullshit. I sold the EDP sign, sold the plaques. I'm selling a few fucking football jerseys that I don't fucking want. You know what I mean? I just don't, yeah. you know... I don't care for it anymore because it's like all that YouTube shit. Yeah, it was great and the money was great, but at the same time, it reminds me of how fake my fucking friends were. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and I'm not doing anything but getting fucking older. Unfortunately, it's like I don't have time for fake ass bullshit in my life. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. No. Exactly, man. Exactly. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, you used to stream a little bit on your website too. I think your last stream was like March 3rd. And I'm just wondering, like, why'd you stop streaming? Because uh, it seems like it's been a couple months, right? Yeah, what I'm more so going to end up doing probably is like, I want to, you know, I'm thinking about just um, just streaming on Instagram. Oh, okay. I mean? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, no, that's not a good idea because again, pull your fucking Instagram account down, you're fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, so um, I know me and me and me and my friend um, who helps me manage the website. We're going to actually look into some some different um, streaming platforms. And, oh yeah, um, have you like tried Rumble and stuff like that, or is that just not something you're interested in? Oh, Rumble, uh, Rumble banned my ass too. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just like whatever. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So. Uh, my last question for your website is pretty much like, do you have any future plans for it? Like, you, you thinking of expanding it, maybe um, adding some different features, stuff like that? Oh, 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 of course, man, of course, dude. Um, I know we're going to um, eventually end up, you know, adding some mer- adding some merchandise and stuff like that. Yeah, I saw that too on your website that you're uh, planning on uh, adding like a clothing line or something like that or your own merch. Yeah, we're going to add some merchandise and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously, you know, as times progress, you know what I mean? And, you know, um, and the thing for me is like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to establish my following again, you know what I mean? Because right. Because all the people that went down there, it was kind of like, people couldn't really find me, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, exactly. Um, yeah. So, like, even when, when I saw your Insta, I didn't know if that was like actually you. Because there's so many people like making fake Instas and stuff like that. So I was like, oh no, this is, this is the real guy. This is the real EDP. <laughs> Right, and it's bullshit because it's like they have this little feature where it's all like, oh, um, I guess it's like a meta badge verified thing. Right. Um, might have came up a few times upon your end, but what's crazy is that if you try to verify your account, especially with me, they'll ban your shit because they know it's actually you. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever, man. Dude, whatever. I mean, you're on your website now, so it's not like you don't even really have to stress about doing this like extra bullshit, you know? Right. All right. So uh, let's let's talk about your Insta a little bit now that we're talking about your Instagram. So um, the first thing I gotta ask you, man, just get out of the way. The Tesla, do you have it or not? Like, you know, was it just a flex on the haters, just as a joke, or like, you know, what was the deal with the Tesla? Nah, I ain't got no Tesla. No, you ain't got. Yeah, because dude, Reddit like went full investigation mode on you. They like looked it up and everything, checked the VIN number and stuff. And I was like, it's not, the, it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? Like, I flex shit all the time. Like, I, I, I was pretending to wear, like, a Gucci sh- hoodie at the store, and I just took a picture of it real quick, and I was like, that's my flex. Just returned it. <laughs> yeah, my you fucking... Know. Dude, it's fucking sad, man. I'm the fucking fags be doing that shit. Checking yeah. fucking VIN numbers and shit, bro. You must get no fucking pussy, man. <laughs> like, there's a time, dude, where I didn't work for fucking two years, my nigga, and I was at home. Damn. Even I wasn't on the internet trolling. Like, Dude, how are you surviving during that two years, man? It's like you, you can't have a job for like one minute without, you know, being buried in bills, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, trust me, dude. You, you, you find ways. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah. All right. So, um, the, th- the thing actually I was going to ask you, you already kind of answered is, uh, are you planning on going more live on your Insta? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Um, yeah. I'll try. You know I mean, so. Yeah. All right, so this one I'm actually really curious about, and this is one of the questions I, I really want to ask you. Like, why do you uh, decide to actually activate the comments on your on your Instagram? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel well. Well, I more so feel like the people who are loyal followers who are, are, are on a point of no life shit is right. 
you know, I feel like they, I feel like they deserve to interact with me. You know what I mean? They deserve to interact with anybody. Right. You know what I mean? Who, who they follow on social media, you know what I mean? And it's like, for me, dude, you can't let a group of fucking degenerate scumbags ruin it for the, for the loyal followers. You yeah. Know what I mean? Um, like, for example, man, kind of going off topic here, but I've had so many people, so many people say, oh, why the fuck are you still making videos? You should go die. You should this and that. And all yeah. That dumb fucking shit. You know what I mean? Just talking shit on the internet, but they wouldn't say this shit to my face because they're a fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. But, um, but what really makes it more wild, worth my while for me is... I was going to Walmart once and I was doing some grocery shopping and this guy, this kid about probably like 11, 12 years old, mm -hmm. dude fucking ran up to me, gave me the biggest hug and was crying on my ass because like, like the motherfucker been watching me since I was like six. Damn. And um, and, um his parents were all like, oh my God, he's like a huge fan. I'm like, it was pretty, it was pretty exciting. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's those moments that really make you feel like what you're doing is good. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, you're you're um, being a successful content creator, you know? Right. Um, so, yeah, the next thing I was going to ask is you already kind of were talking about the trolls and the haters and stuff like that. But do you get a lot of like bait, ac bait accounts messaging you trying to, trying to get you to do something or trying to, you know, just essentially like put you in a scenario that is going to make you look worse kind of thing, you know? Of course. Of course, dude. I get a lot of people... I get a lot of fake ass accounts, fucking 13, 14, and 15 years old and shit. Oh my God, I'm a huge fan. Oh mm -hmm. my God, fuck the shit out of me, daddy, and all this fucking weirdo motherfucking creep ass shit. Yeah. I'm just like, bitch, give it the fuck up, bro. Like, <laughs> just, just, just give it the fuck up, man. They genuinely think you're going to fall for that, you know? Right, like I had this one bitch, right? I had this one chick. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I'm a huge fan. I'm like, nigga, how old are you? Yeah. Like, how, 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 how old are you? Who sent you? Whatever. Yeah. She's all like 20. I'm still like 21. I'm like, all right, cool. And so we were talking for a little bit, whatever, just shooting the shit or whatever. And then all of a sudden, some random ass person on Instagram sends me a screenshot of me and her's conversation as she posted on fucking Reddit. I'm like, see? That's the faggot shit I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm just like... That must make you, like, super paranoid, though, when it comes to, like, talking to anyone, right? It's like you're in a position now where e even if you talk to people who are above age, it seems like, you know, um, people use anything to kind of make you look bad. You know? I mean, I really don't give a fuck. I mean, if it's like, you know, if it's... I mean, obviously, you know, if it's somebody like, you know, like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, whatever the fuck... If you want to enter, first off, if you want to interact with me, you know what I mean? Always ask, age and ID, bitch. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it shows that I, I, I'm 26. All right, cool. So, nigga, what's going on? And then I screenshot that shit because I'm not sure if you follow my other Instagram that got fucking taken down and talking fucking shit. But this bitch who was like 18 or 19, 18, 19, 20 or something around here, she... Since she was 19, you feel me? Yeah. And then, she even, okay, so we were in the group chat, and she sent all of us a picture of her ID stating she was 19 and all that bullshit, whatever. And, um, and so, you know, we swapped numbers or whatever, and we, we were bullshitting, shooting the shit. And then, Bitch went on Reddit and then lied and said that, oh, he was talking to me when I was 15 years old. I'm like, bitch, here's the screenshot. I think I got your ID, ho. Right, no, exactly, right? So get the fuck out of here. It's like, bitch, you cannot sit back and say that you're like, for, for example, you cannot sit back and say like, oh, I'm 23 years old, right? Mm -hmm. You can go back and lie and say, oh, I'm not 23, I'm really 15. The nigga's like, um, bitch, and how was I supposed to? Yeah, honestly, man, if I was in your position, right, and I don't know if you got a girlfriend, I don't know what your relationship is, but honestly, I would just start meeting people in real life, because you can't trust anything on the internet anymore, man. Oh, of course, dude, yeah, 
I'm right. I'm doing girlfriend, man. I asked it. <laughs> All know, right. See, the thing with me, man, mm -hmm. I like, nigga, I like them old ass milfs. You feel me? Oh yeah. <laughs> So, like, the girl I'm talking to, nigga, she's 45, my nigga. Oh, shit. All right, man. No, I feel you. I like that. My, I, think I like that wrinkled pussy, bro. No, exactly, bro. Exactly. The older, the better, right? Yeah, I fuck with the cougars. <laughs> All right, so so the next thing I want to talk about is uh, obviously you posted a little while ago uh, talking about you know how you're having kidney failure and the doctor gave you like two months. So you're obviously like getting treatment now. How's how's that going? Yeah, that was a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that's just what I heard, man. That's 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 what people were saying, you know. Yeah, a bunch of fucking facts. They got no fucking life. Yeah, right. yeah, my nigga's making up shit. Um, fucking dumbasses. But yeah, man, I'm getting treatment, dude. Um, everything's good to go. Um, you know, as long as I stay getting treatment and stuff like that, I'll be perfectly fine. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, is that that must be expensive though? Cause you're in the states, right? Like healthcare's not cheap. Um. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> Um, luckily with my job, um, they actually, um, um, they offer, um, they offer health insurance, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, so that's what I do. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, no, cause like, that's why, that's why you should come to Canada, man. Live in Canada. <laughs> we got free healthcare, you know? Well, if I go to Canada, I'm fucked because I can't protect myself because you guys have done lots of shit. Oh yeah, dude, you can't even carry pepper spray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever feel like, do you ever feel like scared when you go outside? Like someone's gonna pull up on you or do something or are you like dead set on the fact that everyone's just gonna talk shit um go on the reddit talk shit stuff like that i'm dead set that people are going to go on reddit and talk shit yeah um, and even if they do um even if um i really don't get afraid when i go out in public and shit because first off i'm a grown-ass human being just like you're a grown-ass man we got shit to do right we have things to do we can't let some bullshit upon the internet determine what the fuck our you know our lives gonna be you know what i mean yeah exactly and so for me um i have my ccw i carry a 1911 with me at all times right yeah so it's like motherfucker i got eight rounds nigga plus three extra meds bitch so if you want to have a shootout nigga i can start letting this bitch fly if you want to like, dude you're, you're hitting me with that american talk right now man like <laughs> Like, I mean, I mean, dude, and what's fucking crazy is like, I got that, nigga, and I got like a, I, no bullshit, niggas think I'm crazy, I'll even send you a picture, um, I, nigga, I have a full rifle with a fucking suppressor in my trunk, dude. Oh, shit. Like, so, nigga, if the shit gets heavy, pop the, nigga, we can pop the trunk, <laughs> pull out the rifle, pull the big guns in the, in the back, back, yeah. All right, so uh, the final, like, the, you know, it's not the final thing. If you want to talk longer, we, we obviously can. But the the main thing I want to talk was obviously the the Czech Gold Scene setup video you released on your website. Of course. Um, so I'm just gonna like a ask some questions that I've seen people talk about. Um, basically, the first one I've seen a lot, um, and I've even rested this talking to you was the uh, the person who interviewed you. A lot of people are curious if that was like a real interviewer or it was like someone written the interview for you and you had to use like an AI, you know, to to ask you the questions kind of situation. No, it was an actual person. It was an actual human? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right, man. All right, so, um, so again, another thing I, I saw a lot online, and, um, again, I don't know if you, if you know, like, because I heard before that you don't really watch videos of people talking about you. Do you, do you ever, like, look on the Reddit or anything like that? Nope. No, you stay away from the Reddit, YouTube, all that stuff? Um, so the thing I want to talk about is, uh, people are also saying that the Chet Goldstein emails that you got were all, like, photoshopped. Uh -huh. You know, they're saying how, like, you know, if, if in the one image there's a little bit of a, like, some specs above the Chet Goldstein, and that's what people were kind of pointing out at. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's just what they were saying. Obviously, I, you don't have to answer it, of course, but, um, you know, if you want to clear that up, you know, if, 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 if it was... Yeah, not fake, no. Um, yeah. Motherfuckers are going to do what they see. My thing is this, bro. Okay, you know it's like people are going to sit back and twist your words and do whatever the fuck they can to make to make what the fuck they want to talk about fit their narrative. You know what I mean? Right. Um, that's what the fuck they do. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, if they're real, if they're not real, it's like, bitch. You're gonna do what the fuck you wanna do with the goddamn, you know, content regardless, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like 
that's just like before when everybody was all like um, and this I, I'm not sure if this is a topic that you were intend on covering but I'm gonna just throw it out there yeah by all means yeah go ahead back in the day when the YouTube shit just first happened you know what I mean um, there was a lot of fucking people out there they're all like oh well how come you're not making a video about it you should make an apology video about it blah 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 right yeah. You know, um, you know, bro, the motherfucker who actually has a goddamn degree in law, right? You know, um, the person actually knows what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> you know, he's over here saying, "Don't say shit." Right. Be quiet. Don't talk about it. Yeah, you mentioned that in the video, like the statute of limitation, I believe you called it, right? For like two years. It was some, yeah. Um, that's just it's, it's just crazy because why wouldn't your lawyer want to have your back, right? Like it, you'd think like he would want you to go public with it and kind of clear your name, or else you know it, it caused all this shit, right? So. Well, well, well see, the thing is, is, like you know, um, and I, I know I know this is a TV show, but right. even in like you know my favorite TV show is Law and Order. You right. Know, whenever you see a person that's like a suspect or whatever, the lawyer comes in, shut the fuck up, don't say shit, you're done. Right. Talking. Because, first off, the reason why I feel like he didn't want me to say anything is because, not even the fucking friends and family, is because you have to think about it, bro. You never know who's recording. Right. You never know who, who's videotaping, who has a fucking recorder in their pocket. You know what I mean? You just don't know. You know, and um, I'm not sure if you ever, you know, heard this, you know, statement before or... Uh, thing before, but when you get arrested, I'm, now mind you, I was never arrested. But this is just an example. Right. When you get arrested, they say you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Yeah, your Miranda rights. Yeah. So why would you say anything? Yeah, no, that's that's what I mean. But I mean, like you were kind of the victim in that situation, then, right? Like, wouldn't you think you you wanted to speak out compared to someone who's like like Chet Goldstein, right? They were the the instigators in this kind of uh, situation, wouldn't your lawyer like kind of want you to kind of defend yourself a little bit? You know, I, I I don't know. Again, I'm not familiar with American laws and stuff like that, so you know, I'm just a little curious on on what the statute of limitation even is, and and uh, you know, kind of the idea that your lawyer was having with with this uh, the situation. You know, right? I mean, at the at, at end of the day, bro, he was just like one, don't say shit. To, he's all like, even if this shit was to go to fucking court, he's all like, basically, man, he's all like, dude, this entire fucking situation was a goddamn setup, dude. Right. It was a setup based off of jealousy and greed. You know, he's all like, he's all like, yeah, because he's all like, dude, I fuck with your channel. I checked it out a few times here and there before you even came in here. Right. He's all like, dude, you're funny as shit, man. I love your content, man. You know, like you seem like a genuinely good person. You know what I mean? And, um, and what you have to understand, you know what I mean? And a lot of people don't understand this because, you know, they make a YouTube channel, they try to get out there, but they just don't have it. You know right. I mean? And it's like, when you get popular and when you grow a large following and stuff like that, when it pertains to me, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this entire thing on YouTube, but it's called the TTC. It's called the Trash Talking Circle. Right. Right. Uh, when it comes to American football and stuff. And basically in the TTC, I don't mean to get thrown off topic, but in the TTC, you have a bunch of fucking faggot ass, no life degenerate motherfuckers who talk shit, run their mouth, they make fucking bets. And when they lose their bets, you know what I mean? They end up doxing you. They send threats to your job, threats to your work. It's fucking stupid. It's kitty shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so the reason why they hated me so much is because you know i was able to do what they were trying to do make it look easy grow a three million a three million follower goddamn fan base and make money off of it right Meanwhile, they were fucking miserable as fuck living off of food stamps getting goddamn general general assistance from the fucking state they're broke as fuck they're miserable as shit recording Virgin mobile flip phones shit. Right. Was uh was Chet Goldstein like part of that group? Like was he into football? Like uh, do you think that was his kind of his motivation? I have no clue. You have no idea? Like, yeah, I guess you've never really talked to him before then, right? 
Yeah, I have no fucking clue. Yeah. All I just know is that, you know, um, they were fucking mad, jealous as fuck, because I was getting flown out to the Super Bowl, flown out to different gangs, meeting different celebrities, meeting different people, and shit like that. And they were jealous by it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what's crazy is that I've announced it multiple times when I was on YouTube. I'm looking like, hey, man, like, you know, if you ever want to collaborate with me, just hit me up. I'm down. I don't I don't mind helping you build your fucking following. Yeah. I actually, I actually saw, saw you mention that, too. You said in the other interview, it's like, I don't mind you talking about me. Just give me a little bit of that money as well. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um just kind of get back on the check goldstein thing going on um so they emailed you on april 10th pretty much saying like yo you know replying to your comment where you're like you know let's meet at the right at aid um you know let's see if you're a good fit to a film because you you played in um maybe next year right like you did a, a scene in that which was a wavelength production so you kind of assumed that you know this was a wavelength production t- type deal um you know and and Based on like how you interacted with Wavelength before, what was different about the Czech Goldstein interaction? Because I feel like it was a different kind of interaction. You know what I mean? Like, um, did it cause any like alarms to go off compared to the first time you interacted with Wavelength compared to like this Czech Goldstein Wavelength uh, like setup? No, I didn't. I mean, for me, it didn't raise any alarms because I mean, you know, again, up in the video that you guys seen, it had like his actual, it had like the contact info. You know right. What I mean? And, and then have the logo and stuff like that. So it's like, obviously, if you see that, you're going to think it's fucking legit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like getting an email from fucking PayPal and it has the entire PayPal logo on it. You think it's legit. Right, right. You know but I mean? so, Yeah, and then the next thing I want to say is like... um you know for me personally like if i was involved in the situation i'd be a little confused if i showed up at this like improv session which was like in the middle of well, it was like next to a ride aid right like i'd be a little bit like skeptical you know what i mean like especially if if three guys four guys came out with with masks on with body cams and start calling me like a pedophile saying they got log chats i mean why why didn't you like you know like be like yo guys like this is too much you know even if they kind of warned you a little bit in the email i think personally like it would just be like what the fuck you know like i don't know why you didn't just dip immediately you know what i mean kind of thing because it's like they can use that in any way they want right of course of course i mean again dude i mean you know judging based off the emails i thought the shit was legit you know what i mean i didn't you know I yeah didn't really, you know see anything you know that was alarming but i'm about it you know what i mean i'll yeah. tell you what i should have did obviously i should have kept my ass home <laughs> right that's uh, that's the solution to every problem, right? Just stay home. <laughs> right. But if I was going to fucking, you know, go there and whatever the fuck, I should have bought my fucking gun that down at the woman counter. Yeah, you, you mentioned that too in the, the previous interview I watched. You talking about how you should have brought your gun and, and all that. I don't know if that would make you look, look, look better, though. To be honest, you just pull out a gun and start like... Yeah, I know. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> So obviously you're still like pissed off about what happened. So um, I can tell like you're still upset about what happened and all that. But why didn't you go after them like legally? You know, if, if someone tried to ruin my career and my life, I would definitely try to press charges, you know? Well, see the issue, <laughs> you know, a lot of motherfuckers, man, they don't understand, you know? First mm-hmm. off, I tried to go after them. Right. That's one. Two, a lot of motherfuckers, man, they're quick to run their mouth and they're quick to say, I'm not saying you're right, you're not the same. Um, you know, motherfuckers are always quick to say, you should have sued him. You should have went after him legally. Um, right. Bitch, you got the money for it? <laughs> you know it costs money to sue people, right? It's super expensive. You, you just can't fucking, you know, hey, guess what, bitch, I'm going to sue your ass. Oh, oh, by the way, bitch, you only have a quarter in your bank account. Right. I mean, you must add quite a bit of money, right? Like, you're a YouTuber with 3 million subscribers. Obviously, I don't know, like, how financially decent off YouTubers are and stuff like that. But, I mean, like, surely you had enough money, right? I mean... You just didn't kind of want to waste it on this, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a mixture of that. And it was also, like, very, very expensive, dude. Like, right. over the top. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, speaking of which, and uh, you also upload a video, too, on your website, uh, I think, like, 
couple weeks later called Let Me Explain, where you kind of talked a little bit more of the situation, kind of gave some clarity on on uh, the situation itself. But the thing is, I've, I've seen this too. And I, again, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm not trying to like, you know, start, start any bullshit drama or anything like that. But uh, you said that you were barely scraping by when it came to um, going to this interview. Like you said, you know, this was a big opportunity for you. But then in that video, you're kind of saying how you're rich, you know, you're making a ton of money and all that. Was it just kind of like, you know, you'd have good days where you make a ton of money, like good months versus like other months? Oh yeah, I mean, there's always going on. I'm going to be good and bad months. Right. You know, um, especially doing like the whole online shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, cause shit, dude, I remember, what was it? I remember when I was doing the whole YouTube thing, Cameo and some other bullshit. Um, I mean, shit. Nigga, I was able to go out and just buy a fucking vehicle outright without having to, you know, like the whole like, you know, car note shit. Yeah, exactly. Yep. You know what I mean? And I mean, there, yeah, I mean, like, bro, like, just good and bad days, man. You know what I mean? Good and bad months. So. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. Yeah. I'm not even making money on YouTube yet, but, you know, I feel that, though. Um, I mean, you see, the thing with YouTube, bro, is like, there's so many rules that you have to follow. Um, and I've been saying this since day one, man. With these platforms, is another reason why I decided to go solo. Yeah. With these platforms, bro. Um, you give, they give anybody the power to just report you. They don't, bro. It don't even, it don't even have, have, to, have, to, have to be me. It could be somebody who's just beautiful, right? Who's a cute girl, or somebody who's, you know. God forbid if somebody has downs. Well, I, I never, man, you know, like, just because... Yeah, you know, just whatever, yeah. Yeah, you don't like the way I look, report. Yeah. Fuck, stupid. No, I, I, gotta, I gotta follow up with a question for that, though. Do you, like... Honestly, like you, you understand. You're. I, I don't think, like, you know, you, you understand the internet. You've been on the internet forever. But don't you think people who are like, you know, a little skeptical of you, um, you know, don't really want you on any platform? Do you think they're a little bit justified in that, based on what they've seen from Chet and and kind of it? Because you kind of take this approach, like you hate all these guys. They're all trolls. But when you really think about it, some people are actually just genuinely like a little concerned, you know, based on the fact that you know they haven't seen your Chet Goldstein and stuff. Cool, be be concerned. I don't. Fine. Right. I mean, that's justified. No, I just it, all, 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 the reason I'm saying that is it just seems like you're so mad at everyone who who brings up anything like in terms of like, call, like you know anything's talking about the the incident, and I feel like you're just like so mad at them that you're not really seeing the fact that maybe some of these people are just genuinely like you know they saw it and they're just like you know like well shit you know like you you know how the video looked right like it, it looked bad so obviously people are gonna you know. The, how the internet is is they're going to react a certain way to it you know well see the thing bro is like i'm not i'm not mad or upset about it or anything like that i've moved past the shit i'm just ready and I'm, I'm ready to be done with the fucking shit right you know what I mean? so it's like i've moved past it i'm done with the shit you know what i mean whenever people mention the shit i'm just like whatever block move on yeah you know what i mean and it's like when you constantly are getting you know hit up about the same fucking shit over and over and over it's like um bitch the shit gets fucking annoying after a while like it's played the fuck out move the fuck on dude yeah i mean it's been two years i can only imagine right so all right i mean dude it's like (laughs) you know what man i'll give an example yep i was on facebook dating once right right and uh, I was dating this one chick. Well, I was talking to this one chick. Her name was Melissa. Mm-hmm. She was like 42, 43, right? Right. And her fucking, um, I guess she had like three kids and shit like that. Her kids, oh man, you know, I know who he is, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And so um, she's all like, well, you, you're admitting to it on video and blah, blah, blah. And you know, like my and, and, and like my, my kids don't like you, blah blah blah. And I'm just looking like, you know what, bitch? Like your kids are one to fucking judge concern and the fact that they're going through an identity crisis, my nigga. And they don't know if they want no, no, want to be straight or fucking gay, right? Like, bitch, your oldest son is going to school wearing a fucking dress and makeup, looking like a fucking fag, my nigga. So shut the fuck up, bitch. Right? Like, who the fuck are you to judge my ass, my nigga? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, no, no, I, I, see, I see that. Like, and, and you brought up Bumble too. I think, like you said, Bumble stole a bunch of money from you. You know, uh, it was only like eighteen dollars. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a lot of money, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I just stay off those, man. They're, they're, they're a waste of time, honestly. All right, so um, back to the Czech gold scene. Um, you know, when you arrived at the uh, Rite Aid, um, obviously you said in the video that Javier came to like, you know, uh, kind of escort you to the, the the spot that you guys were going to meet up. Um, did he say anything to you before the camera started rolling or did you just kind of come up and be like, you know, let's go kind of thing? Um, no, I mean, I mean, basically before the camera started rolling, he just introduced himself, you know what I mean? Yeah. All, all that, you know, um, kind of like how how um in the maybe next year movie um you know before the camera started rolling and stuff like that you know obviously the sound guy here and, and, and introduced himself producer director you know all that shit um so yeah he just basically introduced himself to me and was like hey man you know i'll be doing this and doing and doing that you know what i mean and just going from there so yeah he was he was trying to trying to make it look like you know he was uh he was part of that like you know wavelength and they're coming to um escort you to do like the the improv scene correct okay um so another thing i want to talk about is uh um you know a lot of people were complaining about this and again i, I know you don't really care about that but um basically people are saying you didn't really mention the chat logs which was like the most damning evidence and i just did quotations if you didn't notice but um you know it doesn't seem like you really talk about them you rec like do you think they made them before you showed up or like what w like what was going on with that well Yeah, no problem. My thing is this, bro. Right. Um, with how technology is, dude, it's pretty fucking simple and it's really fucking easy to Photoshop goddamn um, chat logs. Right. You know what I mean? And so, um, pretty much, I'm over here. He's over here, you know, you know, saying that I said this and said and that and shit. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, nigga, you could have easily got that shit off of, like, Google. You could, well, not Google, but, um, like, nigga, you could have easily, like, Photoshop bullshit. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, that's the reason why I never fucking, like, really mentioned the chat logs because they're all like, oh, well, I get several niggas, like, oh, well, here are the chat logs where, like, you block the person and then you unblock them and this, this, that. I'm looking like Photoshop. Right. Fuck. Yeah. Well, do, like, what about and and this is the thing, right? And and this is what I'm like, I'm thinking of, like the photos. Like, I obviously like I read the chat logs and stuff like that, but like, you know, um, those photos, like, I don't really know if you can like Photoshop photos. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like, um, your your selfies and stuff like that. So I I just I don't know, man. <laughs> it's just I understand like the chat logs and stuff, but the photos are like, it's it's. Right. Um, and I, I, I saw a cop out. That's not me. Fucking, you know, trying to like shy away from the fucking question or whatever. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, it's like regardless of what I say, regardless of what answer I have, niggas are going to believe what the fuck they want to believe. You know what I mean? That's just who it is. Right. Like, I, can, I can say like I can sit back and come up to you and be like, "Hey, man, guess what? Fuck the Catholic religion. That's not going to stop niggas from being Catholic." Right. Yeah, no, I understand. And the thing is, too, I, the next thing I want to mention is, um, you know, obviously the cupcake meme. I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, even though you don't watch Reddit and stuff, I'm sure people have brought it up and stuff. But um, you know, you you mention as soon as you get there, you know, you're coming to pick up a cupcake. And the, the argument I'm seeing online right now and and in forums and stuff is people saying, you know, how how are the logs fake then if you knew about the cupcake? You know, that kind of stuff. You know what's funny about the entire cupcake thing, dude? Hmm. Is um. I remember I um, I made a video on TikTok about the entire cupcake bullshit. Yeah. And like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you see it. The bitch got almost like 20 million fucking views. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, me personally, dude, like, I don't even like fucking cupcakes. I think it's fucking, <laughs> fucking disgusting. Right. You know? So, um, personally, what I'm going to do on the entire website is that I'm actually going to fucking make a few cupcake t-shirts and start selling that shit. Oh, you're going to merchandise it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know if that's a terrible idea or a genius idea, man. Oh, nigga, it's a genius. <laughs> it's fucking, you might as well get some fucking money shit. 
Right, right. You might as well benefit, right? Yep, shit. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, and then obviously again, the thing I want to bring up too is um, you guessed Sophia, I guess was the, the, the name of the girl. You guessed her age correctly. And um, that's another thing people are, are, are talking about. Um, you know, people saying like, you know, how would you know her age if you've never seen the chat logs, you know, stuff like that. I guessed her age correctly. I don't even I think because I, I don't remember the video exactly, but um, you know, it's been a very long time since I watched the video. Uh, but basically, they they said like, do you know how old she is? And you said like 13. And I guess like in the DMs, that's that's what she said. I don't even fucking remember that shit, dude. To be honest with you. So okay. Almost... No, that's that's fine. Uh, I'm, not even, I'm not even trying to shy away from it, nigga. I really don't fucking. No, I get it. It's it's fine. I get it. I get it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to ask you. Alright, cool. Yeah, is there anything, you know, you want to talk about or anything, you know, to um, maybe say to people, I guess, since you don't really um, direct to Reddit and stuff directly and stuff? I mean, I, I listen, man, I really ain't got shit to say to the motherfuckers, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, it ain't nothing, you know, all of it is a bunch of fucking no-life-ass fucking losers just fucking talking shit amongst themselves. You ain't gonna fucking do shit. You know right. What I mean? As far as I'm concerned, you know what's funny, dude? I give an example, dude, and this is this is how two faced the motherfuckers on, on Reddit is, right? Right. I went to fucking what was it? I went to Albertsons. I'm not sure if they have that out there in Canada. No, but... was it like a sporting goods store or something like that? <laughs> no, it's a store, bro. Oh, it's a <laughs> yeah, it was just, all right. Just like the whole Kroger brand and whatever. Um, so I went to Albertsons, right, to go get some groceries or whatever, and somebody recognized me and they wanted a picture with me, right? Right. I'm like, all right. Took the picture and whatever. Oh man, I'm a huge fan. Love your video. You know, all the fucking, you know, gaslighting dick right and shit. Yeah. All of a sudden, this nigga posts the same picture on Reddit or whatever. Yeah. Oh, this guy's this, he's that, he's a bitch, blah, blah, blah. But you wasn't saying that shit to my face, though, bro. Right. And again, bro, I'm not some badass. I'm not, dude. I, I don't, I don't go looking for trouble. I'm not some nigga where I'm just gonna put, you know. I, I don't, I don't walk around with my nose all stuck up in the air and shit. But it's like I've noticed so many people. Do oh, you know who my friend Delia is? No, I've never heard of them before. Okay, so my friend Delia, man, she's really sweet. Um, cool ass people. She's the most loving, most sweetest, supporting friend you'll ever find. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is not, and she's like the most least intimidating person ever. People talk shit about her, you feel me? And when they meet her at a game, oh, I'm a huge fan. I like you. Shut the fuck up. Right. So that's so 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 that's an example of motherfuckers talking shit online. But when they see you in public, they're you know it's totally something different. Yeah, it's kind of like hiding behind a screen kind of thing. Right, but would you would you come from a person too? Like, if you notice someone taking your photo, would you go up to them and be like, you know, why are you taking my photo, shit like that? I mean, I have once, once before. Right. Um, taking a photo, or whatever. I'm looking like, um, I'm like, bro, you could have just asked for a picture. Right. Um, and then they get all fucking socially awkward and start looking away and start acting weird as fuck. I remember when I was doing security at Walgreens once. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and some fucking bitch, <laughs> he started, he was recording upon his phone, and then when I saw him, the nigga lied to say, oh, 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 I'm taking a selfie. I'm like, bitch, who takes a selfie that close to their fucking face? <laughs> you feel me? I think, so, and, 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 and sorry to interrupt you, but I saw I, I I saw a picture too of you you working security. I don't know if that was the same situation, but someone just took a picture of you while you're standing there just working. Yeah, that was in the walkway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen that picture then, yeah. Yeah, dude, and, and what's fucking great is that I go outside. I go outside to fucking confront them. They're all, run, I'm, they're all walking out and shit. Yeah. Meanwhile, the niggas don't know that, you know, at this point in time, I was fucking, I was heated like fuck, dude. I was just, I, I, I was done with the troll and shit. Right. Um, little do they know, I walked outside. Pulled out. Um, I walked outside. Pulled out my gun. Racked that shit. I'm like, bitch, let's go. Right. And they started running the fuck away. I'm like, dude, like I'm like, nigga, if you really want to fucking take it there, well, we can take it there, bitch. No, exactly. Because I'm not in the fucking mood. Any fucking, I'm done with the shit, dude. Yeah. 
And so, obviously, you know, fast forwarding to now, I'm just like, you know. Yeah. Well, the, the question I have is like, have you ever thought about just like, you know, I know you said in a previous video that you're like addicted to the internet or whatever, but you ever thought like maybe if you just stayed off the internet, maybe just lived your life, you know, you just stayed quiet or whatever, some of this hate would blow over? No. No? Right. You know what I mean? Motherfucker, I could go to a nigga, I, I, I could be shit. I could be going to, to the fucking post office. <laughs> right. You know I mean? And uh, motherfuckers be taking pictures of my ass and this and that. And I'm just like, and it's funny you say that because my friend, who I don't want to talk to, he was all like, dude, just, um, just, just lay low for, for a while, about like a few years, and it'll all blow over. I'm like, it ain't going to blow over. <laughs> You never know, man. It's the internet. They they switch up on everything all the time. Right. So I mean, there was, there was a point in time where I was laying low for about like a year, maybe two years. Yeah. Um, the shit didn't blow over. My fuckers were still trolling, fucking with me and shit. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it, man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, niggas are gonna troll regardless. So I'm just like, why not fuck this man on the bitch? Want to troll any fucking way? So you know. So yeah. Do you think, like, honestly, like? Um, like a genuine question here. Do you think you would ever be back on YouTube or ever think you have an opportunity to maybe get your old fame back? Um, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, probably not on I mean, because to be honest with you, bro, I don't want to go back on YouTube. Dude. Right. Um, I, there's just been so many fucking countless nights where it's like I would receive bogus ass strikes. Um, the thing with YouTube is like, if they're going to give you a strike, um, they're going to give it to you at like one in the morning when they know you're fucking asleep. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you make that video. Yeah, you're ranting about how they, the, you, you know, wake up, like what the fuck, you're panicking and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck all that, bro. Um, yeah. Again, man. I mean, you know, as far as the whole fame, whatever. If it comes back, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. I'm yeah. Um, I didn't get into making videos for the fame. I got I got into it because it's fun, right? Because um, you started you started making videos about the like like um the Eagles and stuff, right? Yeah, back in twenty ten. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, man. Oh, that's cool. Do you um uh what was I gonna ask you um? No, I think that's about it. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I still got 50 minutes, so let's just sit here in silence. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> if you got if you got shit to do today, then yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, I got I got a few things to do. You know what I mean? All right, man. Oh, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to to do this interview, and especially at like a, a reduced cost. I do really appreciate that. No problem, man. All right, man. Take care. Yeah.